Updating Sima Pro consists of two main steps. The first one is updating the software and the second one is updating the database. Only if these two actions have been carried out, you have performed the complete update of Sima Pro. Let's begin with updating the Sima Pro software. Head over to the Sima Pro Hub Center website and choose the relevant update instructions. If you only want to go from one previous version to the next consecutive version, for instance from 9.11 to 9.2, you only need to use the regular update instructions. Please note that this update only covers the data gap between one version only and thus is well suited if you have been consistently updating Sima Pro every time we roll out a new update. On the other hand, if you ever missed a few of past updates and you want to update from much older version of Sima Pro, for instance from 9.0 to 9.2 or even from Sima Pro 8.5, you can just go for the full update instructions. This setup will update your Sima Pro software and database accumulatively in one go, so you don't need to do multiple updates. Therefore, it's always recommended to double check which Sima Pro version you are currently using since it determines which update instruction you should choose. Once you have downloaded the Sima Pro software, double click the installer. Select the language you want to use during the installation. Then, follow the instructions on the setup wizard. Please prepare your Simapro registration name and code at hand since you will be asked to insert them upon installation. Unless you choose another location, Simapro will pick up the following default location for the software. The current Sima Pro software will be uninstalled and then replaced with the updated Sima Pro version. You have now successfully updated the software. Note that you will still need to perform separate actions to update your database. This step will be explained in the next part of the video. Now after updating only the software, what changes can we expect to happen? Essentially, you get a newer version of the software that contains newer software features and less bugs. The database contents will remain unchanged. A software update won't change any library, projects, or methods in your database. You won't see any result changes either because you haven't yet updated the database. To update your database, you will still need to carry out separate steps. You can find the instruction in the next part of the video.